Okay, Gemini, good morning. Welcome to Karma on Deck. I'm Karma. This is your weekly energy report for the sign of Gemini for December 3rd. Woo! I just didn't mean to get all in Taurus's ass just now, but we did. So hopefully they forgive me and come back tomorrow. <laughs> all right, kids, here we go. This is your Gemini reading. So I titled this Gemini, let's get it. I've been kind of tapping into energy before I do my readings for the titles instead of titling them after. But I'm picking up this overwhelming energy from Gemini that has to do with, you know, feeling their power and this restlessness that I'm picking up on. Like they're, you're like dancing in place or, or you're at the starting line is what I'm picking up. So let's take a look and see what Gemini has going on energetically for this week. First thing that comes up for you is the Eight of Cups. So with the Eight of Cups in play, how that looks is it has a tendency to tell us that speed and things are about to pick up and go faster for you. So you can expect to have some unexpected little energetic kicks for you. And that's like having a little, I don't know if you guys know what NOS is, but when you are in the car racing or the, um, like, what do you call that? The um, racing or like the, the street cars that they have, they have this NOS, like it's a little extra, you know, boost that they get at the end and when they want to win the race. But I'm feeling like there's this extra energetic power that you're feeling like you're ready to tap into any minute. I do have the page of swords for you. So right now, Gemini is so incredibly frustrated about this building energy that they don't know what to do with it. And there's so much that they want to do that direction is you're having a hard time finding your direction and focus is the one thing that you're striving for. But I see the page of swords and this card right here has to do with mouthing off. So when you have this card, it's like your fuse is super short. And like you're ready to like snap, you're ready. If this isn't ready to snap. This isn't like road rage, you're already snapping. It's like you're already like cutting people to the quick and letting them know where your limits and where your boundaries are. I'm also seeing the world card. So, you know, in this you have some major cards, the Hierophant and the world card. So I was just talking to Taurus and the aspect that's coming across with the Hierophant card is the aspect of being pulled by strings. If you look at this card, it is literally the Pope. And back in the day, they were the people that controlled the politics and the people and the religions. And it was, it was through that religious source. And so they would give you like mandates, right? Or decrees and tell you like how things were supposed to be according to the law of God. And that was indisputable because they were right because we're telling you what God is saying. So you must, right? So within this card, you have this ladder. You have a little guy right here and he's climbing a ladder, but his strings are being pulled. So, you know, think of the corporate ladder. Like, how am I climbing this corporate ladder? And this guy is being pulled by the, by these strings and they are like literally he's the puppeteer. And so perhaps like Gemini is really looking at what outside forces are affecting their internal dialogue and their choices. I am seeing the king of coins and the king of coins has to do with going out and getting your money. Now, the interesting thing, Gemini, and I love doing these concurrent uh, readings where you go from Taurus to Gemini in, in a series, right? Where you had this card for um, Taurus, which was the empress. And so for you, you have the emperor. So the Taurus being a protective energy, the emperor is our conquering king. And you have this energy where it's like, you know, you've got to go get shit done. But we have the devil card in play. This is your bad habits, your negative self-talk. This is other people's influence, your duty. This is alcohol. This is Netflix. This is pornography. This is, you know, uh, depression. These are fighting with others. This is the whole complex thing that we we tell ourselves and that we struggle against. And so you're looking at all of these influences as the vex, the thing that is vexing you most. And as these things are vexing you, you're starting you're like the only way to win the game, the only way to win the game is win-win, collaboration, everybody's happy. And if you can't win the game, you stop playing, right? There's only two ways to do it right. Everybody wins or, or we don't play. And, and right now you're coming up with this idea of like, I am in spades, emotional and driven. So right now you are so passionate about what it is that you want to get done that you're ready to remove all obstacles. I'm also seeing the six of swords along with that eight of cups, which tells us speed is on the way. 
you have the six of swords so if you look at this six of swords all of these swords are pointing away from you the fight is no longer yours so maybe you've turned your back to it right and so nobody can poke at you you do have the six of wands which is a surplus of money which is super exciting for some of you gemini the six of wands has to do with a the, if you see this the diamond right here that has to do with attainment so you have some attainment that's coming your way where you can achieve and this looks like money that's coming your way i don't know if it's a refund or, you know rebate or it feels like a tax return does, like a chunk. Um, I'm also seeing the justice card, so some legal matters may be coming up for you. This also can be meeting contracts, you know, negotiation contracts and paperwork. Fine details and money. In money. Why do I feel like you should have the ace of coins? You don't. You have the king of coins. That's a little bit more work driven than ace of coins. Ace of coins is like the CEO, right? But the king of coins is still making that money. But what I'm seeing for you is balance in, as above, so below, as within, so without. So you have this internal balance and then bam, you have the temperance card, which all about like finding that flow, that give and that take, that perfect balance. Because in the temperance card, you have, you know, this woman who's sitting there, you know, looking in the mirror, right? Self-reflection is also a big game for, for Gemini right now. Like, Stop looking at it like Haponopono. I just posted a video about with Snoop Dogg where he said, I thank myself for not taking any days off. I thank myself for being a giver. Like start talking to yourself like that, Gemini, because the balance is all in looking at yourself. But here's the thing, guys. Stop looking at your flaws. Like, okay, so maybe karma's really distracted and she talks really fast and I'm all over the place and I can't finish a sentence. But my excitement is contagious. And my clarity sometimes, even though I get the words wrong, I used to yell at my mom all the time because she would be like, you know, she would mess up the word. Like, I remember she used to say hoovering. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean hoovering? That's a vacuum. And now in my old age, I say these words wrong because my processors get wired, like jammed up a little bit when I get excited. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm turning into my mother. But now I look at this and I'm, I, know, I know that people don't think I'm stupid, but I do feel it sometimes because when I get so excited, I get sidetracked, but now I know that, that that charisma and that magnetism like overrides the perfection of the thing that I'm supposed to do, and it's accepted because I've accepted myself, and in this card right here, they're looking in the mirror, and they're finding a balance within it, like strike that balance, Gemini, you guys have this, this duality going on all the time, and it's perfectly okay to be hot and then cold, to be, you know, to find both of those and use them in your power at appropriate times, okay? But integrating that and allowing yourself to be that quirky, crazy, analytical, overjudgmental, like there's a difference between judgment and judgmental, like having good judgment and being judgmental and like just being like, yo, I can't help that you're taking it as me being judgmental, but I have good judgment, like accept yourself, Gemini. And that's what the temperance card is all about. But look at how beautiful this is. So this is internal balance, all of the things that are around you coming into balance and temperance, creating like a little flow. The huge thing that's been coming up for me in people's readings has been like, Striking a balance, waiting in the pauses, stop being so frustrated. And yours isn't quite like that. It's like owning your personal power. I am going to shuffle some cards for you, Gemini, and I am going to do a reading for you, Gemini Rising. I'm sorry, Gemini Moon. That was your Gemini Sun and Gemini Rising uh, reading. Now I'm going to do your Gemini Moon for those of you that think and feel like a Gemini. This also applies to your love, lovers, relationships, children, work, etc., I would encourage you, please come to my YouTube, subscribe and like and share there. I would love your support on my YouTube. You can also find your videos a lot simpler because they're posted by playlist. So if you want to come on and look for Gemini, you can just click that and see where your energy was last week to where it's going next week and so on. So yes, like, subscribe and share as well. I, I'm really that close to my goal for my YouTube. So that's where my heart is at right now. All right, let's see. We've got these are so long. All right. I don't know. I'm channeling some shit for you guys today. So the Hierophant is the first card that comes up for Gemini and that has to do with stubbornness. And if you remember me talking about the Hierophant with the Taurus reading, I was talking about the strings being pulled. Like you're thinking about the strings being pulled and what is designing the outlook that you have and whether you want to change it. I'm also seeing Gemini not sleeping, staying up late at night. Same thing for Taurus. 
Um, indecision is a decision, guys. You have the two of swords. Analysis paralysis will get you nowhere. You can have all the information in a book that you want, but unless you pull the trigger, unless you turn the key in the engine and actually put it in drive, you're going nowhere, Gemini. And I'm also seeing overwhelm for you. You have the magician which is go time. You have the 10 of cups, which is perfection and celebration. The other thing that's going on for Gemini is this energy of nostalgia. You want things to go back to the way they were and you want things that aren't possible sometimes. Okay. You're also congruency for your card this week is, is the justice card. So whatever's coming up for you regarding contracts, legal matters, you know, mediation, etc. focus on that, but it's not in a negative way. So don't like everybody always trips out when I talk about the justice card, but truth be told, the justice card just has to do with being, being exact with things. Okay. I will tell you the hermit card has done you well. The hermit card is all about evidence. So all the evidence that you have prior to gathered and all of the work that you have done has put you in alignment with your path. You have this alignment that's going on. You're, you have the star card and the star card is all about like the cosmos and your divine purpose. Um, the only thing that is going on for you that I would say to watch and use caution with is this here eight of cups because of your indecision going on in the past here the two of swords, you've had this indecision and this analysis paralysis going on for so long that you've almost quit. And you know what I have to say to that, Gemini? Don't you dare. Don't you dare quit. You did not come this far to only come this far. And I mean that for you star seeds who are feeling like this planet is a little too much work. It's a little too painful. You feel like you've got to put your light under a bushel. Don't you dare. Even the tiniest birthday candle, one match. Just imagine it's a pitch black room. There's a heavy storm going on. The lights go out. You have no power. Nothing. It's dead quiet. It's storming outside. And you light a match. I don't care if it's a birthday candle, but when you light a match, it's blinding in the darkness. And it is enough. That one little match illuminates the room just enough to find what you need. Oh, here's my candle. Here's my hurricane lamp. Here's the charged, you know, lamp or the thing that I need or the generator plug where I can flick it on and get it going. That light is sometimes just enough to see what you need. So don't you dare quit. I will come for you. <laughs> I need you guys. We're going to tribe up, right? But what I'm seeing for you is the star card, and that has to do with your destiny. If you can see these, I don't want to move them around too much in doing the um, Instagram and, and Facebook because they're placed beautifully. But the thing about Gemini they don't want to talk about is the overwhelm that's going on for them. And you've kept that super tight to your chest, and you want to begin anew. And I'm seeing new relationship for you like beginning new, and that might be the relationship with yourself. But we have the five of cups where things aren't how you want them to be. Your ideal is not in front of you, but you are on the right path. Woo! I have to be somewhere in 15 minutes, so let's wrap this up. Gemini in the house. And this is your card from Divination of the Ancients. Gemini didn't say anything on my YouTube right now. Nothing was said. They're watching though. I can see you guys. All right. This is your divination of the ancients. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see what your card is. Ornithomancy. So I'm kind of curious as to why ornithomancy and omen is required for you to hear. So Gemini, omens, are you looking for omens? Or perhaps this is your idea to start paying attention to the omens that are going on around you and what your alignment is. Listen for congruencies with the conversations that you're having for other people to show up for you and have the tool and the necessary resources for you. Start paying attention to omens and signs. You are not one in a void. You are part of the cosmos as within, so without, as above, so below. And don't ever forget that just like in the microcosm, that one cell inside your body is necessary for the whole to function. You are a part of the cosmos and you affect its outcome. And I'm going to ask you one thing, dear Gemini, in your duality today, choose. Choose. Come from love and choose. Choose and move. Choose and move. That's one of my favorite things. So whatever it is you choose, even if you mess up, choose and go because you'll learn from it. I promise you this. 
Catch you on the flip side, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Looks to me like tomorrow will be our Cancer and Leo. Tonight I will be going live on a group. I will post it if you guys want to do it. I may be doing a live. There's a podcast coming up this Saturday. Once I have these details with me and my Aurora rising. <laughs> I found my twin. I have a doppelganger. So I'm going to introduce you guys to her soon. Thank you for hanging out with me. The law of one, guys. We are all in this together. Come from love. Thank you for hanging out with me.